I did not sign up to look after a plant. I thought it was fake. What is up everyone? So I can't even remember the last time that I vlogged. I can explain, I promise. So life has been pretty crazy for me, just running around doing a whole bunch of different stuff, but none of it has been vlog worthy slash I haven't had time to vlog it. So some of it has just been like admin stuff. I actually drove up to Wales, up to Wales, sideways to Wales. Why did I say, I always say up. And like, that doesn't make sense. I drove to Wales. My mind wasn't gonna be very exciting. We were going to get a passport renewed, but we actually went shopping afterwards and there were so many cool shops. I actually did a Funko collection because I bought a ton of Funkos, which I'll link down below. I won't show you again in this video because I literally just showed you. But I did go to Asda and I know what you're thinking, what? But I got some really cute home bits, so I'll show you that. And then I also got a delivery from Opoly, so I'll unbox that for you. And I'll fill you in on the past few days because they have been really exciting. I did actually go to see Muscle White, who is a fantastic photographer who I've worked with a ton. I recently dropped my second collaboration with him, which I'll pop on screen now. I'll link down below. You can go and grab those. They're very limited edition though. So I worked with him a lot and I needed to get my headshots done for acting. So I went to go and see him on Friday morning. So I got my headshots done, which was really cool. So happy with how they turned out there. So great, and this is such an exciting chapter for me and such an exciting step for me. I don't want to say too much about it because I can't, but I'm just very excited about life. <laughs> like, things are really, really exciting. I've worked really hard and a lot of exciting things are happening for me. And also, like, I've just started taking more risks and just going for it and going for the things that... I've always wanted. I don't want to follow a set path. I just want to do the things I love and take every opportunity and run with it. So I'm very excited about some things coming up. I can't wait to share them with you. I will vlog them. I'll release everything when I can. So I did actually go and get, grab my headshots on Friday. And then when I came home, I've just been doing so much editing. Moving forward, my vlogs will be way more purposeful and I'm going to bring you guys out and about with me a little bit more. But this vlog has been basically covering two weeks of big change for me, like big, big change. And a lot of it I can't film. I did want to kick things back off now and catch up with you guys and fill you in a little bit on what's happening. So I hope you've enjoyed the vlog so far. I apologize that it's not as neat and as scheduled as normal. Okay, so first up, I actually got a dress from Opoly. So Opoly, if you've been on my channel for a while, you'll know I'm addicted to Opoly. I just love them. And they've released this collection that is so beautiful. I wanna get a couple of bits. So I got this dress. I do wanna get one more dress from there and then I'm just limiting myself to that. They have like 10 dresses I want. It's so gorgeous. So, oh my God. I'm gonna be sick. It's actually beautiful. Okay, so I got this midi dress. I'll try and show you all of it if I can. It's this midi dress. It has the most gorgeous like corset structured top and it's actually mesh. And look at this ruche section. This is, I don't even, oh, I don't have words. It's gorgeous. That came and I didn't want to open it without you guys. And then I actually went to Asda when we were going to grab the passport and I got these super cute little plants. They were literally like a pound. How cute. I think obviously they're fake, right? They are fake. Oh god, good. I oh, wait. I don't. Is it? Is this fake? Is this real? Do I have to look after? I did not sign up to look after a plant. I thought it was fake. Is it fake? Animal succulent. Help! And I grabbed. I'm hoping they're all still in good condition. This little hedgehog one. I'm really panicking that these are not fake. They look kind of fake. I think they're fake. And then I also got this little elephant. So I'm actually gonna put these in my downstairs bathroom. I've been just like gathering little bits and pieces to decorate it with. And I want it to have like little fake plants because obviously you can't put real plants in there. There's no window and you like all the steam and stuff. It would be a nightmare for those poor plants. I'm trying to basically like layer up this really cute decoration and kind of make it a little bit more homely. I've been kind of like, the problem is it's like my partner and I are so busy, we both, he has a full-time job and he's a wrestler. I'm a wrestler, obviously I do YouTube, I do Twitch, I do acting and modeling. And my life, I don't have a set schedule. I'm always so busy, so is he, we work all hours. So it's been really hard to get the apartment to look 
like a home, I guess. We have really nice furniture, but we don't have like decorative pieces like plants and maybe like a little chair somewhere and just things like that. Things that aren't a necessity, but would be nice. So I've been trying here and there to just gather like a little bits and pieces. I want to get like a nice full standing mirror. I want to get like a little chair for this corner of the room, like a little kind of sofa chair. So it's kind of like a process really of just, I'm really putting more time into it because for me, my environment is really important. And then from Primark, these were £1.50 each. They're actually like a pink mauve. They look a little bit washed in. If I move back, maybe you can see a little bit better, but obviously it's super bright. But I got these really cute little baskets from Primark. They were £1.50 each. Primark is super good for home stuff. Like I've been going in there and just grabbing little bits for organization. So my idea for these is to go in my wardrobe room just to put in trinkets. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna put in yet, but I just thought, just go for it. Because I feel like I've really been procrastinating it and I'm quite indecisive, so I haven't got anything. And I'm like, I really need to just start organizing things. So I just went for it. Like I might do things like put like my hair clips and my hair bands in there and just kind of get things moving, get things organized. So I actually went to Boots on the way back. This, I'm telling you, I should have vlogged this Newport trip. I didn't anticipate the success of it, but it was a great trip. But I actually popped into Boots because I needed to get a foundation that was super lightweight. Just basically wanted more naturalistic makeup. Because I wrestle, all of my makeup is stage makeup. Because for me, I don't wear makeup. So like from day to day, if I'm not doing anything, like if I'm just going to the shops, going to the gym, whatever, I don't wear a scrap of makeup. I don't do it. I literally either wear no makeup or like stage makeup. So this is obviously from wrestling because you're under the lights. You need heavy makeup. Even if you're someone who has like perfect skin, which I do not, you would still need this makeup because it just, it accentuates your features. It's really important to get your expressions across. It's a whole different, it's a whole thing. I basically would just use that makeup to do my YouTubes or streaming, whatever. And I did always think like I, I should get something a little bit lighter. I should get something a bit more natural and day to day. And I went to Boots, which had the most amazing Fenty collection. And I'm so happy because I love Fenty. Their makeup is so good. I'm yet to use a product I don't like, which is rare. I'm really happy because I got these really nice bits, but I also grabbed this, which is a little bit extra, but I love it. So it's actually this body glitter. It's insane. So it's like, I've obviously like layered quite a lot onto my finger just to show you. But it's like you could put it on your body and it just gives this like nice sparkle but it's super light and i just think it's so cute i've been looking for something like this for a while so this is going to be so nice for the summer it's going to glisten in the sun with certain boots they have like huge makeup sections and i was worried because where we went to town there was no makeup stores and nothing and i really needed this lightweight foundation and then when we went home we popped to the services and they had this huge boots and i was like yes and it was a great boots because it had so it had like matte Benefit, Fenty, Kylie. I got this lip oil. So it's basically completely clear. My sister-in-law was telling my mum and I about it a couple of weeks ago and they didn't actually have it at Selfridges. And like, it's been on, in the back of my head ever since. I'm like, okay, that sounds like something I would like because I don't wear makeup, but I do like a lip balm or something on my lips because it just, I have dry lips. I think I just talk too much. So I found it and it is so good. First of all, it smells delicious. Like I literally want to eat it. This is why I can't be a makeup influencer. I literally just said I want to eat the product, but it smells so good. And so what I do is I just use like a little bit of lip liner just to kind of like define the edges. And then I just put this on and blend it. And it's so nice because it's not like a shiny, shiny lip gloss that like your hair is gonna get stuck in and all of that. And I love a lip gloss moment. Lip gloss is so fun. But obviously it's it's a commitment. It's not like that. It just gives like a little bit of a shine. Like I've got some lip product on now. Um Oh my god, it smells so good. And literally the brush, it just I could do that all day. It just goes on so well. The brush is so soft, the product smells amazing. I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow because I'm gonna go send my merch orders out and I've got some work to do and I can catch you up on the progress of the apartment. But I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog so far. I do apologize for the messiness. The next vlogs and the vlogs moving forward, I have like a set routine and a structure so they should be a little bit more back to normal. But this was just a crazy transitional moment. I'm gonna go and order myself some food, some lunch, and then I'm gonna get ready to stream. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I just put out the little plants and I feel like it's starting to look a little bit cuter. Danny literally just came in here and showered and wrote it for me. I'm gonna get a few more bits, maybe not plants, maybe something else, but it's, it's really sweet when you come in. 
So I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's actually Jubilee weekend. I'm gonna be starting a brand new vlog. So don't forget to subscribe to check that out. I feel like it's a good place to stop it. I'm gonna head out for the Jubilee weekend. I've got tons of fun stuff planned. So you can go ahead and jump into that. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Drop a comment down below and let me know about these furniture places because I'm trying to bring this apartment together. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Tell me where you slide to when the life gets high, who you try.